Hi guys, I'm back after a few days away. I've been not too far away, probably only about 40 minutes away, but I was away at a conference slash retreat. Um, no, I wouldn't call it a retreat, and I wouldn't really call it a conference, but I'm not quite sure what you'd call it actually. Um, I had so much fun and um, but it was work related um, but but in a personal way so it, it was to do with personal growth and so that was really good um, but it was exhausting so while I've come back quite refreshed and, and raring to go um, I came back quite exhausted and find myself on annual leave, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, because it, it's sort of given me a bit of a, a kickstart in, in a few things that I want to do work, work wise. But there's some sort of buzzing noise around here and I can't work out what it is. It's actually really quite annoying. It's sort of like and it comes and goes louder and, oh, I don't know. But anyway, it's only in here in my office. It's quite pronounced. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I've spent the last couple of days just recovering, I guess. Um, well, Monday certainly was recovery mode. And I spent the whole day in my pyjamas in and out of bed just to get food and drink I suppose and, and it was quite funny because my daughter was on a bit of a go slow day with her studies and she didn't get out of her PJs either. So we spent the afternoon watching The Devil Wears Prada. Um, so that was pretty good. And I did a lot of sleeping, um, catching up on some sleep. Then yesterday I did have a few work related things to to get done and so I got those done and yeah um, and today's sort of been a bit of a housework day washing day not that a lot of housework got done because I'm still on my go slow never mind um, now tomorrow I have some shopping to do pick up a labour bank some money that sort of thing and um, and I'm heading into DJ's David Jones or and Maya, just to see if they've got the Laura Mercier Mother's Day pack um, for $90 or $95, whatever it is. And I figure if they've got it, it's meant to be. If they don't have it, it's not meant to be. And if I do get it, it's my Mother's Day present to myself because there's no way the children will get me things that, you know, I really, really want at the moment. So, um, and then on Friday, I'm heading to Sydney um, so it'll take about well first I have to go to Canberra to pick up my son and his girlfriend and that will take probably about seven to eight hours drive then once I pick them up it's about a three hour drive from there to my mum's place so so there's a fair bit of driving on Friday to do um, we'll have the weekend um, together which is great because I think this is the first Mother's Day I can spend with my mum for probably a good 15 years I would have to say. Um, I really don't remember the last time I spent Mother's Day with my mum. So this will be a special one for me. Um, I, you know, the fact that I work on Sundays, I've really got to, to be on annual leave to, to get it off. So, um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Then I'll catch up with some friends in Sydney that I don't get to see very often. So I'll have a couple of days shopping in the city, that sort of thing. And then by the harbour, which is always really lovely. Sydney's a great place to visit. But... I'm glad I don't live there anymore. Um, it's a really busy city. I do prefer Melbourne as a city to live. Um, but I love visiting Sydney because I don't think there's a more beautiful city in the world than the harbour of Sydney. It just, it always gives me goosebumps because it's just so magnificently beautiful. Um, then 
I hope to I've been looking on the internet for um, some cheap holiday deals um, so I missed out on Fiji um, there were some really cheap airfare deals going and by the time I got on it they were all gone um, and I really don't want to pay eight hundred odd dollars um, just return flights to Fiji um, a friend has told me about some really good accommodation in Bali so I've sort of been looking for cheap flights to Bali but haven't really found any there either so I don't know if I'll get away or what I'll do if I don't get away um, I'm thinking maybe Dalesford at one of the, the spa resorts and just having some you know massages and spa time and and reading and just relaxing so I may just do that and you know get a few jobs done around the house but I really don't know and I love the fact that I do not have these holidays planned they're just whatever happens and I'll just wait and see now before I go I do want to shout out to Stacy um, hope that your recovery is coming along very well it's been a week now and um, so you should be getting on the mend by now I, I just hope that you are and and I've only just found out that Mother's Day for you guys in America was last last Sunday the 5th whereas for us it's this Sunday the 12th um, so I hope you had a fantastic Mother's Day and and I'm sure you would have you would have been made feel really special um, I think the procedure that you've just had done would, would have given you you know may have you know giving you mixed emotions with Mother's Day but um but know that all is 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 just gonna be great from here on in so um so every blessing to you Stacy um and before I go I just want to um share one of the latest loves that I have and that is a tea <coughs> a tea from T2 now I popped in there to get because we were running out of a lovely fruit delicious which Nicola and I have been enjoying tremendously it's beautiful tea although it is laced with sugar we discovered but hey I don't care um, it's just really nice to have something to share with her overnight and um, so that's really good um, so I went into tea too to pick up some tea and and I saw these beautiful gift boxes um, and inside I've actually taken the inside out because I love the box it's just such a beautiful box and I can sort of do something with the lid but I have taken the um, the inside out but this is a really handy gift box so I've kept it and inside were these two tins of tea um, one was toasty nougat and the other one was strawberries and cream and with that with both of those you got one of these lovely spoons this is sort of um, you know that rubbery latex rubbery type stuff um, so was one of these spoons and it was really good value because to buy the teas just in the little um, in the little thing was you know they were quite expensive now we're coming up to the French Open and then after the French Open is Wimbledon so guess what I'm going to have on hand in huge supply while Wimbledon is on because Wimbledon is the home of strawberries and cream so that's what I'll be having so just thought I'd share that with you not that you're probably interested but you know I'm just in one of those moods today where why not so have a great weekend guys um, I'm sort of going to be on off air for a little while now uh, probably not doing many videos although I might just try the trusty old iPhone you just never know I might share a bit of my trip who knows I will definitely share a bit of Sydney Harbour with you because um, happy Mother's Day to all the American Canadian mums for last weekend and happy Mother's Day to British and um, Aussie mums for this weekend and and of course it's um, Mothering Sunday in churches across England we sort of have done away no it's not Mother's Day in England you have Mother's Day back when you have Mothering Sunday during Lent so there you go so no happy Mother's Day for all the English mums from months ago back in March so there you go 
don't worry about me. See, this is how I can get really odd sometimes and stupid. And I get very forgetful too. I call them my senior moments because I am sort of coming up to being a senior. That's so depressing. So depressing. I'm going now. Bye, guys.